Hi there, I'm Chris from Carson's Bazaar and today we're going to take a look at one of the ways to paint a skeleton. So I'm going to be painting a skeleton warrior. I've undercoated it with Mechanica Standard Grey. Uh, I used the spray paint for this one. Uh, you can find the link to undercoating with spray paints down below. So just looking at the model here, there's a couple of bits of metal detail that I'll need to put in as well. But for the most part we're just going to be focusing on paint and bone. So using Rhinox Hide we're just going to paint the whole thing. I'm going to paint the shield and spear as well uh, with the brown because I'll be going and finishing that to make it look bronze so using a brown base is what I'd use And there we've got him base coated. So we'll just leave that to dry and we'll be back with the next step. With the brown, uh, the Rhinox hide dry, I'm then going to be using a sharp deep bone and doing a heavy dry brush on the bone sections. <clears throat> then we're just gonna thin down the, the sharpie bone a little bit. And then on the larger sections of the bone, like bits like the skull and on the shoulder blades as well, I'm just going to layer that. So as you can see it's quite thin. It's almost the glaze that I'm putting on. That's just the, the smooth uh, the colour. We'll leave that to dry and if we need to do any more layers then we'll do that at this stage as well. With the Shabdi bone dried I'm then going to use Agrax Earth Shade. I'm just going to wash over the model. It's going to sink into all the recesses and it's also going to tint the bone colour. It'll just give them a dirtier look. <clears throat> we'll just leave that to dry and then we'll be back with the next step. Once the wash has dried, using Rakarth Flesh, just going to do a bit of a dry brush, very light, just uh, 
catch those details. That's the bond done. Side by side here we've got the model just after the Agrax Earthshade's been applied and the final model with the Ragoth Flesh applied. The Ragoth Flesh makes a huge difference and just makes the bones look a bit more realistic. This colour scheme works on any bone you need to paint, not just skeleton warriors. And check the links in the description down below for links to the paints I've used, all through carstensbazaar.com. Thank you.